Hello and welcome to My Secret Math Tutor. In this video we're going to take care of how you can calculate the standard deviation using a TI calculator. Now specifically I'm going to use this guy over here, a TI-84 plus CE, but really these steps work great if you have just a regular old TI-83 or a TI-84. Uh, the menus will you know, look slightly different but they'll be the same selections along the way. All right? So there's only two steps to this process, it's getting it into the calculator and having it do the heavy lifting. Uh, let's get to those steps and see how this works. All right, so first we need some data, and of course this data could represent a sample of some sort or could represent a population. Depending on whether it represents a sample or a population, there are two different formulas that you could use for finding that standard deviation. Now of course the calculator is going to take care of the heavy lifting, but you'll see this notation when we get to those menus, either an S if it represents a sample, or a sigma if it represents a population. All right, so let's go ahead and start getting this data into the calculator. Right, the first part of this, as soon as we turn on, is we need to get to our list. So in order to do this, we'll press STAT, and you'll notice that the first option there says EDIT. So let's go ahead and press ENTER. And this will bring us to our list. So we'll just type in each number one at a time, and every time we're done typing in a number, go ahead and press ENTER, and it'll bring us down to the next line. All right, that didn't take too long. I got 10 different numbers, it all looks great. Uh, now that they're in the calculator, we need to go back out of this screen and get to our calculation spot. So I'm gonna press second quit. Don't worry, the data is still in the calculator, it's still safe, we just need to get to a different screen. All right, now let's go ahead and go to our stat menu, so stat. And now arrow over, because we wanna do some calculations, arrow. The first option is for one variable statistics. That's exactly what we have. So we'll press one. And it says it's going to draw the information from list one, uh, which is exactly what we want it to do. So now we can just uh, arrow down and have it do the calculations. So let's see, calculate. Now this drops a lot of information on my screen. So we have to really kind of sift through it and see what we got here. Uh, the first part is just like the uh, mean, then we have the sum of the x's, sum of the x's squared, all that good stuff. But see right there where it has an s and an x? That is our standard deviation if this represents a sample. And we also have a sigma x, that would be our standard deviation if it represents uh, a population. So let's go ahead and write those two values down. So if it comes from a sample, this would be 26.08 and uh, various uh, numbers after the decimal. If this came from a population, we'd get something like 24.74. And of course, these are going to be different numbers because the formulas are just ever so slightly different. All right, if you'd like to see some more videos, please visit mysecretmathtutor.com.